Welcome to the digitallifestyle.com video show number four and this is the first in a series of videos complementing my book using Windows Vista Media Center and the book goes through all the different steps of setting up Media Center and getting the most out of Media Center so I thought what I'd do with this video series is accompany the book and go look at some of the tips and tricks featured in the book and on this show what we'll do is have a look at some of the overlook settings around recorded TV and series records in Windows Media Center. I'm going to keep it nice and short and just focus on how to optimize your recordings and series recordings. While the settings are fairly obvious they can easily be overlooked. In fact some of these I really didn't find until I was uh, delving into the features to the, the book. So first we're going to look at setting up a recording. So I'm going to go across here to the guide. So I'm going to assume that you've got Media Center set up to work with your TV signal. And in fact, it's probably on a future show, I'll have a look at how to set that up. So I'm going to go through to the guide now on my Media Center PC. And I've got my channels here. And as you can see, I've um, actually got a recording uh, set to record there, Dr. Strangelove. And that's already recording now. So what we're going to do is look at how to record um, a program so let's go into that now so I'm going to the now there's a couple of things I can do now to do the recording I can press the record button from the remote control or if you've got a media center keyboard you can press record on there or I can go into the detail of the show and uh, press uh, record and that's done now you notice actually before this uh, it said that the previous uh, airing of the show had already recorded uh, so that shows you that the system is intelligent enough to know that I'd already recorded this, so it's pointless uh, recording it again because it already exists and I haven't deleted it. But there we go, I've recorded that program now, and um, I can go back to the guide and you'll see the recordings in there. Now let's have a look at some of the settings associated with, with that. So I'll go back in here and look at record settings. Now the first up here you've got is frequency. Now the frequency I can do a single show or record series. Now I'm going to leave it on single show and we'll look at record series in a minute. Now this setting here is most useful for uh, sports events. And now quite often often happens under in a sports event is the program overruns. Uh, it goes into extra time or it's a motor racing that uh, there's been some incident and it, and it goes into extended. So quite often Media Center if you just didn't have didn't look change this setting at all Media Center would stop recording at the end of the program. Now you can say in general that Media Center should always record X amount of minutes extra and in fact I, I pad out my, my recordings with that and that's a setting I'll have a look on on a future show. Uh, but what you can do for this individual recording is you've got some options here to stop uh, 5 minutes after 10, 15, 30, an hour, 90 minutes, 2, 3 and so on back down again. So if it's going to be the football you're recording then if you went say an hour after you know that if it goes into extra time you're going to, you're going to catch that. This can also be quite useful as well if, you, if you're recording the program immediately after the sports event and um, you, you know the, the, the program that, that, that you're recording after the sports event is delayed by the sports event of course with this then you can set that to to record the extra amount and then that will uh, and that will mean that you won't sort of miss the end of the program so it's a handy setting there and uh, it's one well worth one considering for anything uh, around sort of live live events. The next setting, uh, which actually is not shown on this because this machine's got DVB-T on it, is the quality. And this is so that you can select different qualities. So you've got the highest quality, which obviously results in bigger files. And but that's applicable to analog capture cards and analog analog cards. And in this case, we haven't got that, so we just get the default DVB-T signal. Uh, the next setting, uh, which is quite really good for managing the space that the recorded TV takes is the keep until and here we've got keep until space is needed now uh, again something we'll look at on a future show is how you can tell media center to manage the pool of av available storage space so by default it, it will take uh, x i think it's about 90 percent of the disk if you if you let it 
well certainly you can specify that amount so this is now going to keep this recording until the, we uh, until media center gets to the storage limit and then it will start going through and deleting the oldest ones first and it actually does warn you it gives you a little symbol on on the recordings to say that they're going to be deleted but you have got some other options here you can tell it to keep for a week uh, so you, you well, after a week's time that gets deleted or until a watch which is really handy so as soon as you watch it you can it can then be deleted and that's a good way of tidying the files up after you've finished watching them save you manually doing it um, I actually do uh, leave it on until space is needed and I man manually manage the, de the deletion process so those are some of the settings for a single show and I can save those those changes now one of the, obviously the most powerful features of, of Media Center is the series records. So it could be on uh, this show now. I want to do um, a series record, and there's a couple of ways of doing that. You can press twice on the remote control uh, to get to record the series, or you can go here to record, and I can go record series. Notice now how the uh, triple dots are on there, the red dots to show this is a series record. So let's have a look at some of the settings for that. So if we go to uh, record settings, now we can have a look at this, this episode or the entire series. So uh, we can look, when we go with just this episode, we can see the settings we've just looked at before. And again, if it's um, a series record you've got, it's on every you know every every week but you know that sports events before it you can just go into this one episode and extend the recording time so you'll know you'll catch it or if you want to adjust everything for the series then you can go through that one now there's some interesting settings on this one um, we've got similar settings actually stop um, and we can specify the stop time so let's cut that right down stop on time We've got the same options with uh, keep, and we can keep that. Except this time we've got an extra option if we keep latest recording. So um, it only keeps the last recordings of it. Let's have a look. See, we've got keep to watch, keep to delete, latest recordings. And keep as many works with that one. Is we can say here now we can keep um, also the first setting there is keep as many as possible or we can go keep uh, the last 10 so if it's a show that airs frequently and you don't want your machine being clogged up with uh, the series records you know you're going on holiday you don't want the last the last 10 recordings that's exactly what to do with that so I'm going to set this to keep the last uh, here last two recordings now the next setting is one that's um, that's really um, critical to to how you want the series records to work is the channels. In this case, it's going to record on channel four only. The program from the guide was was uh, set on channel four. This program may be recorded, may be shown on channel four, and it may be shown on a similar channel uh, like E4. And currently, this would only record on channel four. I can set this to any channel and it will record no matter what channel it, it's on. So what you may find with that is you get recent uh, series record, you know, showing on one channel and uh, the older episodes shown on, an old, on another channel. Um, and if you want to grab all of those and find just put it on all channels, if you want to be selective about it, you can just pick that channel. Of course, if you want to capture the other, the other series as well from the other channel, you can go into the guide, find that program and do record series on that and you get the, a separate set of uh, settings as well but it's something just to bear in mind and the other one here that's similar to that is the airtime uh, this is set on any time now so whenever the show is shown on channel 4 it will be re recorded but I can set it to only record once per day because obviously some shows get bro broadcast uh, multiple times through the day I'm thinking some children's programs and some of the ch TV uh, the kids channels here in the UK have a repeat schedule so it might get shown at 8 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Doing this will make sure that it only gets recorded the once and you won't get your uh, hard disk full of the same program. 
so that's uh, a quick overview of the TV record TV settings and the series record settings. This video was brought to you in association with my book using Windows Vista Media Center, co-authored with Tony Campbell. You find all the details uh, on the show notes. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoy the book. Bye. <laughs>